got. Hello Facebookers and YouTubers. I'm sorry that I haven't been on for long but it's been the last month or so has been a really strange few months. Um, I went to see my specialist this morning and he's wanting to treat me more with medication and I've got to wait another four months to go back and see him and I'm trying to eat again I'm starting to eat again very slowly very gingerly because I've got my stomach shrank in the last two months I've lost another two stone I'm now down to 12 stone and people say oh yeah that's fantastic Andy great news you've lost a lot of weight it's not I'm very weak now very very weak I need words of encouragement I still get a lot of pain still get a lot of pain in the rectum I've still got open wounds that's leaking pus and matter all over the place there's still the chance of a stormer on the cards and it's just it's just been basically it's just been very very strange last the last few months it's like I'm gonna have to start my life over afresh again and I could really do with some people coming to visit me I could really do with the encouragement I don't want the encouragement on Facebook I just I want the encouragement because I want people to come and see me if people come and see me then it's more of a positive thing to me to see people face to face and shake the face and say thank you for the help I'm not going to go I'm, st I'm staying positive I still am positive I'm, but it's just it's, it's, it's been strange the last two months it's just been very very t trying and telling on me it's because I've got that much pus and matter coming out of three two different wounds on my rectum it's very very hard going I am eating I am drinking drinking water drinking coffee drinking tea drinking still juices and I drink the energy drinks that I get and um, I'm, I'm taking the medications that I should be taking it's just that I'm just trying to stay positive but it's not boredom what it is I think I'm having a nervous bloody breakdown because I see all of you lot going on and visiting each other and enjoying yourselves but nobody comes and visits me nobody even pops their head round the door just for two minutes and says how are you doing lad? you alright? my brother can't even do that, my sister can't do that why don't you lot step up to the plate? all is I want to do is I want the encouragement to get better not easy. It's far from easy. That is freezing cold. It soothes me throat. I've had a bloody chest infection as well which hasn't helped. And having these pustulas and fistulas and cysts and abscesses in certain places does not help when you want to sit on your posterior so like I say I'm not I just want somebody to come and see me I know I've got a social worker coming to see me tomorrow but it's not the same as your friends coming in the door is it you know what I mean I mean, it would be nice if my sister would ring up. Try and 
try ringing me mum. The thing is with me mum, she um, she doesn't recognise me anymore. She is in the middle middle to later stages of Alzheimer's. If you all know, I can't see my dad because my dad was killed 40 years ago this year. It would just be nice for somebody to come and see me. I would like to get back to normal. But apparently it's a while off, it was going to take, it's took me, it's 15 months to get here and it's going to take me at least Three years to get back to normal. Hmm. Three years to get back to normal. And the only person who stood by me in all that time, really, is somebody who can't come and see me because he lives on the other side of the world. The other person, he lives too far away as well because he lives in Scotland. He, he often rings up. Both of them do. And the only other person who's been there for me 24-7, and I mean literally 24-7, is Amanda. And, like I said, life's not easy. It only takes you two minutes to come in, see me, say hello, ask how I'm doing. You don't have to stay. If you want, you can come in, you can have a cup of coffee, you can... Hell, oh, I don't know. You can help Amanda with the washing up if you want. The carers come in. Can't give them much to do because by the time they get here, Amanda's done it all. Well, that's no word of a lie. She has, she's done it all. Amanda needs the carers. Well, she used to, not so much now. She used to. Um, need them between the hours of three and six. Not, not in the afternoon. I need carers that can go to the shop for me, I need carers that can mop the floor, I need carers that can hoover, I need carers that can do the washing up, and the washing. You know what I mean? Thanks. Cheers, Sean. At least I know you ring up every now and again as well. But I know what it's like working on the furnace in there. It's a bastard. And I know what it's like trying to get time off working from where you work. I know you said the next time you're out on your bike you're going to come and see me, and I don't believe that. Anyway, I'm going to go. You enjoy your evenings. How's that? When it's it, I, I would like my sister to ring me. I'll get in touch with me. And as for Dave, Dave, why don't you just come round, mate? What the hell is wrong? I'm not in fucking hospital. I'm at home in bed. What are you fucking scared of? See you later. Um, I know I haven't seen you for a while, Scott. I know I haven't heard that from Cloyne either. Please get in touch. Goodbye.